Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are having shrimp fried rice and pork egg rolls. Shrimp egg, there's egg in this, I don't know how to say it. Huh? Shrimp egg fried rice. No, it's shrimp fried rice. All fried rice, for the most part, has eggs in it. Okay, whichever. And in case you haven't figured it out, we have a special guest tonight <laughs> that's cooking. So whatever I always do it. You just <laughs> use my hands. <laughs> okay. Sit back and enjoy this one, guys. Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's my channel. It doesn't sound like me though. <laughs> my voice kind of changed. Tonight we're having shrimp fried rice. You're going to want to start with a big pan. We're going to eat a bunch, so uh, we got a big paella pan. Paella pan. So I'm going to start by covering the pan with vegetable oil. Probably about a half a cup would be my guess. I'm going to turn that on high. And while that warms up, in the meantime, we have all of our vegetables, onions, carrots, celery, peas, bok choy, and our little shrimps. It's getting kind of hot, so I'm going to start with one cup of carrots and one cup of celery. And those take a little bit longer to cook than the onions. So, I'm going to let those saute for a couple minutes. You don't have to video. Okay, now that those are a little bit cooked, not a lot. We like everything still a little bit crispy, not completely mush. So I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of onions. Let those saute for a little bit, not overly cooked, just and not translucent, but just just a little cooked. So honey, I have a question. With this fried rice, can you use minute rice like instant rice or do you have to use I don't know. log grain? <laughs> We're using jasmine rice. Yeah. We, so we made our rice um, in a, a, a cup of frozen peas. Sorry. We uh, made our rice in a um, Instapot. Or if you have a, a rice maker, rice cooker, I don't know what they're called. Or just use it, you know, make it according to the package. But I honestly, I don't think it would work. Do you, honey? Yeah, it'd work. You just have to leave it in the refrigerator and let it get cold and then cook it the next day because it would firm up and it would make it better in my opinion. Oh, okay. Okay, we added another we added a cup of peas, let everything still a cooking. Now I'm gonna add I don't know, it was two stalks of bok choy. Where did you get the bok choy? At the grocery store. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, I don't know. Did you get it at Walmart? Walmart. In the produce, right? Nope, in me. In the top. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the egg section. Oh, crap. What? I gotta you make forgot you a separate egg. pan. Yeah, because I can't eat eggs. For those of you that don't know, I can't eat eggs, and I can't eat pineapple, and I can't eat, uh, what's the other, oh, uh, bananas, because I have a food intolerance, and when I eat eggs and pineapple and bananas, it, oh man, I have a very bad reaction. My belly hurts, and I have to lay in bed in a, with a heating pad on my stomach, and it's not fun. I'll get the eggs for you, honey. Mm. 
And by any, by all means, anyone that actually knows how to make fried rice, <laughs> uh, this isn't really, I mean, at one point in time, I was kind of taught by a lady 20 years ago. She is this little, sweet, cute Filipino woman, and she made some good fried rice. But she made it in totally different steps. She'd do one thing and then the other and then at the end she threw it all together. Now I'm going to add shrimp. Little shrimps. They're cooked. Devane peeled. Tail off. Woo. Almost like the escargot from uh, Pretty Woman. With the little suckers. <laughs> Happens all the time, Miss. Oh my lord. <laughs> now, I'm gonna add the eggs. The shrimp's getting it a lot watery. It hasn't ever done that before, but. I hope it still works. It'll evaporate after a little bit. And I don't know how to crack eggs like Alana. I was never a professional egg cracker. I've never told him that story. I think I'm going to do... Start with four eggs in this. Since it's a big pan. But if you use like a 10 inch skillet. One, egg, one or two eggs in a skillet full is enough. Unless you really like the eggs, then you can add more. Then I just mix it up and let it all scramble with all the vegetables and the meat. Well, and plus, honey, the water that the shrimp is putting off will just absorb in the eggs, right? Like a scrambled egg. Well, it'll absorb in there and it'll absorb into the rice again. Yeah, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, now that the eggs are pretty well done, I'm going to go ahead and add rice. And as far as how much, I don't know. This was six, at least six cups of rice that I cooked yesterday. And it, when it's cold, sometimes it's about as easy to use your hands. A good side, um, I don't know, side dish, I guess you could say, that you can have with this. We have some egg rolls from Aldi's in the oven right now. What are they, honey? Just regular or? Pork. Oh, yeah, they're pork egg rolls. Pork egg rolls with shrimp fried rice. Another cool thing is, is that we're going to package this up while, or I mean package up the leftovers and then for the week for lunch, all we got to do is just grab it and throw it in the microwave. And if you have this stuff all cut up ahead of time and the rice made in the refrigerator, it takes no time at all to whip this together for a quick lunch. As long as you have everything prepped because... Chopping all that stuff takes more time than actually making oh, yeah. <laughs> a small pan of it. I think I should have had some more water yesterday when I made the rice. A little gone. You want to stir your rice? Yeah, I will. <clears throat> And I'm going to add soy sauce. I don't know how much. I just go until it gets kind of saucy and, and brown. I don't know. With this big pan, it's going to take a lot more than normal. But Go ahead and stir mine up here.
Okay, we got the soy sauce in. And now it just stir and break up the conglomerated rice or coagulated or whatever the word is I'm looking for. <laughs> It's like sticky buns. <laughs> Unpause it. It wasn't. Un it wasn't paused. So, honey, please explain to our audience what that has to do with sticky buns. I figured you'd edit that out. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's all fun and games until I'm, somebody ends up with sticky bones. Okay, I wanted to show you guys mine. And I, my heat is on low. What's your heat on, honey? Four. So that's about medium low. Just stirring it around. Good. It smells good too. Yummy, yummy. In your tummy. <laughs> I need a little bit more soy sauce. <laughs> In my opinion, that's something that's taste. I mean, I mean, we use regular. I don't. I probably should have bought low sodium, but. I like it salty. So does Alana. Oh, yeah, they know I like salt. Okay, so just keep cooking it until you get it all clump, unclumped and get it hot. And it should be your iron to go. Just make sure your little shrimps are all cooked. Which they already are, so. But everybody likes little shrimps. Okay, it's about pretty well done. The egg rolls are done. They're pork egg rolls. We got some sweet and sour to go on them. So. But I like to see it plated, honey. That's pretty much what it looks like if you want to get a close up of that. I mean, you can pick it all up at your local Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> He's being a door. I don't know why he said that. It's done. They like to see it plated, honey, and nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. Get it plated. Yeah. All don't right. use that spoon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Come here. Mm -hmm. I forgot. We'll have to talk to you in the bathroom the rest of the night. And then two little egg rolls. And there we go. There is our shrimp fried rice and pork egg rolls. From the local Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Get out of here. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Check out my description box. I got some goodies down there for you guys. And hey, leave me a comment and say whether you liked it. Or <laughs> you liked Matt cooking tonight or not. And uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.